After the positivity of our win in midweek against Macclesfield, we came unstuck in the first half. We went into the break 2-0 down against Geisley. Yeah, we're pretty poor first half. Uh, every game's different. It doesn't work like that, that you go and beat Macclesfield and you can automatically just go and roll over Geisley and automatically beat Coles. It doesn't work like that. It's such a tough league and, and every game gives you different problems and a different set of circumstances that you've got to mitigate. It was a completely different game. They're big, strong, horrible. Their gamesmanship is off the scale. Rolling around, the screaming, the crying. The, you know, I really like uh, Phil and Cade as, as people, but bloody hell, you know, that's to an extreme, isn't it? It's, uh, and they did, what they did was they were very functional. They went back to front quick. They kept asking questions of us by putting balls in the box. And we just weren't at the races. We, when, we'd worked, when we worked hard to get the ball back, we just give it away too cheaply. And the question that I had for the players at half time was about, if I was watching us from afar, I'd be saying, ah, oh, that's typical Lancaster, isn't it? They, they can beat Macclesfield. They'll you know, probably beat Radcliffe here. They'll probably beat whoever else. But, you know, you get them around the teams that you ex maybe expect them to win against. And that's no disrespect to Geisley, but from a starting perspective, you maybe think they're favourites for and they don't get the job done. And that was, we can't be like that. Um, and that's because of our own standards and expectations as well. It's because we we think we've raised the bar a little bit. Well, I would say second half, I've, I've not much negative to say. I thought that was really felt like us. We got a grip of it. We were a lot more predictable in our play. We've created... Well, we created four chances first half. So just going back to that, if Jacob scores a 1v1 different game at 0-0, Brad Carroll should have a first half hat-trick. And they know that. And that's all right for us to be critical because we have an expectation that, you know, if you take two of them chances, we're going at 2-2 two -two, and we're really frustrated, but then we'll produce that second half performance and, and blow them out of the water. We created then five or six, three on ball shouts, the last one. I'm a long way from it. The camera will tell us looks stonewall referee wasn't interested but I don't I think because of the way the game had gone I don't think he was willing to put his head above the parapet and, and make that decision I thought his management of the of the time wasting and the gamesmanship was terrible this is the problem I have at the moment because Tuesday night you you, you, you kick the ball away just after the whistle goes it's a booking there was three of them today and we've ended up with two players booked for tackle not even sure the Tigo one is a foul and Brad Carroll can't get out of the way for his so I'm not sure what but then there was no we're told by the FA and the referees you can't crowd crowd the referee well as soon as Tigo makes that foul there's six players around him and the referee says to me I'll do it next time but what's the rule I, I'm, honestly it absolutely baffles me that the administration of, of things and the inconsistency of things it's just annoying it's annoying I shouldn't be talking about it I should I just want them to get their bit of the game right and it's not my job to get my bit right and I take the criticism when I don't get it right. But anyway, um, but yeah, second half, we've, we've, we've got something out of nothing, I think, because we, we were pretty poor first half. And you're going 2 0 down. I think everybody that would offer you a point at that, at that stage would take it. I think Dom Ross has got a brilliant chance at the end. Uh, Akeem, what a chance at the end. So we've probably scored, we've probably created enough chances to score two or three goals, two or three, to win two or three games. But it's a point and we'll, we'll have to, to be happy with that. As you say, Lancaster rallied in the second half, almost scoring late in the day. Charlie Bailey following Brother Sam on the score sheet. Yeah, well, Sam just, asked, again, we asked the question because Sam puts a great delivery in. And how often do you see that? And it sneaks in at the back post. Charlie's just in the right place at the right time to, to get it over the line. So I thought from a, 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 an attacking perspective, we improved. I thought Nozer improved us, even just from being clever. You know, he's not fit. He's going to take a little while. We've got to be sensible with him. But he, he went into areas where he made them do something. You know, he made them have to defend. He, he caused them problems. So, yeah, I was, I was pleased with the changes. I thought they, they impacted the game. Obviously, Sloan is still struggling a little bit with his, with his groin. So, Akeem was on for, for him and, and, and played well. I thought the back three, who maybe weren't at the best first half, were excellent second half. So... I say, you're not going to win every game. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. You're not going to beat Macclesfield and have a, a God-given right to win the next one. We've been in a battle today. We've been in a scrap today. And we've shown two sides of ourselves, one that I wasn't happy with, but one that I thought got better. So, again, go to uh, calls and get a positive result on Monday. This becomes a great point. But 
let's see. As momentum goes, you always want to score last, and we can take that into the game on Monday. I'd rather score first. I think we're a completely different team when we're a front foot, getting our noses in front type of team, which is why, you know, I said about Jacob's chance, about Brad's chance, because I think the way we play, we're, we're quite an intelligent football team at, at being able to pinch and counter and create chances when teams think they've got to come after us. And you make the game open up and then we pick them off. So I much prefer us to get our noses out in front. I understand, you know, late goals, it feels like we've, you know, we've had all the momentum and, and listen, everyone's got the money's worth, haven't they? Because it was a decent game in terms of chances and drama and excitement. So it's not all negative. I'm, I'm, I'll be disappointed in some respects, but I'll also be pleased that we've got a, a point on the board, another point on the board, not lost here. Um, and yeah, we, we, if we can get up to a round two again, which a win against Coles would allow us to do, that would be an unbelievable start. We're very close to the target that we wanted. What we can't do is be complacent at Coles because they're very competitive, very competitive side. They've got another good point today. Don't go there thinking you're going to roll them over because you're not. And uh, they'll be well supported. We'll be well supported. Bank holiday game. We've got to be at our best. It feels very last season to talk about injuries after a game. Jake Conley missed out today. Jacob Holland Wilkinson went off late on. Yeah, we don't really know the extent of Jacob. We'll, we'll have a look at that tonight, see how he recovers tomorrow. Jake, precaution really. I expect Jake to be back Monday. Uh, and that's the, the beauty of us having a, a, the squad that we've got at the moment. Nico's come in and needs minutes on the pitch to, to get himself back to, you know, to, to his fitness and his sharpness. So he gave a decent account of himself, didn't do any harm today. Um, but we'll have Jake available. What we won't have is, is, I think we've got at least one that we know is unavailable on Monday. We've got, to, we've got to fill some gaps. But again, we've sent two out on dual registration today, so we can obviously pull them back in. So it will be a case of recovering properly, whether we can get some of our older players through another 90 minutes. That remains to be seen, but we've got players waiting to come in. Jamie Mellon, we were going to bring on, and then had to make the change because of Jacob. So Jamie will be fresh for, for, for Monday, so selection won't be straightforward, but it might be made a little bit easier by, by some of the knocks and niggles that we've got. Thank you, Mark. Best of luck on Monday. Thank you.